Lots of development going on in Richardson lately, but some really cool stuff going on the, on the east side, and we'll get into it. Hey, I'm Todd Tremonti, and we've got a really cool video for you on what's going on in Richardson, Texas right now. And for a long, long time, the intersection at Plano Road and Beltline Road has been one of transition. We've seen uh, new Applebee's and Cane's and Mr. Gaddy's come and go and all sorts of stuff going on. But that southeast corner used to be Richardson Square Mall. And for the last 10 years or so, it's been Richardson Square which is sort of an outdoor retail development with Target and Ross and some of those things going on over there. Some of the new um, kind of restaurant fill in with Sonic and Chick-fil-A and Whataburger and Panda Express has come in. But really, if you look at the far uh, edge of that southeast corner of Plano Road and Beltline Road, um, it's it, there's been a lot of a lot of parking lot. The Sears building, uh, which is still there from the old Richardson Square Mall, has really uh, kind of declined over the years. And there's been a lot of excitement as well as honestly a little bit of fear and concern about m what may come into that space. Now, the corner we're talking about is most of uh, that corner is about 13 acres, a little more than 13 acres. There's been one or two new businesses pop in, but mostly a lot of blank, uh, vacant blank asphalt. Um, so the proposal is for uh, four new buildings in addition to the old Sears building, which would mostly be restaurants and retail. Now, there are some proposed tenants. None of this is final yet, but looking at maybe a Chipotle, Jason's Deli, Jersey Mike's, Starbucks, uh, Hobby Lobby and Home Goods, potentially in the big Sears building or tenants like that. Uh, Pizza Place, Marble Slab, always welcome in my neighborhood. Uh, and then uh, potentially a uh, Trader Joe's. So none of that is final, but those uh, some of those tenants are already having discussions with the developer and the neighborhoods and some of the tenants around there have been consulted um, after some previous plans had, had not been received well by the city and local residents. This current plan has been unanimously approved by the city council and neighbors are for it. And so I think it's probably just a matter of time before leases get worked out with some, if not most of those tenants and the ones that don't happen, similar tenants probably will happen. So then you're looking at really all the way down to Spring Valley, um, you know, pretty high quality residential, I mean, pretty high quality retail and, and restaurant tenants. Uh, really all the way from Spring Valley up to Beltline along Plano Road there. Uh, we've seen some good things happening on that southwest side. Uh, the northwest side has turned over quite a bit. Still a little bit of vacancy in the old Albertsons building there, but my gut says if this happens, good things will follow. The northeast corner turned over quite a bit with the LA Fitness coming in and some other restaurants kind of backfilling there. So this really could kind of be the final piece uh, to pushing you know, the last very few uh, backfill vacant spaces over there, kind of the last dom last major domino to fall. So if you're on the east side of Richardson, you're really kind of this is the, the, the mid midpoint of that east side. Uh, the far north corner of the east side is really turned over with the city line development. And you've seen that stretch all the way down to Renner. Campbell Road has always been pretty strong on the east side there and has continued to do well. Um, Arapaho has always kind of been hit or miss. There's some drainage and there's some industrial stuff there. But Beltline could really give us a boost on the east side of Richardson. Would be really exciting. Would obviously be a positive factor for property values, for residential property values in the area. Folks thinking about moving to the area have always loved east side stuff like the uh, Wildflower Festival, the Cottonwood Arts Festival, things like that. Huffines Rec Center has been revitalized over the last five, six years. Uh, and some of the parks and rec and fire uh, fire stations and things have be, been redone, the softball fields over at Huff Pines. And so we're seeing lots of good things. The city bought back some land at Renner and Plano Road uh, for parks and trails, and there's been some new signage and kind of um, – uh, statue type stuff to, to just to kind of beautify the area. Neighborhood beautification has happened with neighborhood uh, labels on on the road signage and some of the entrance and ex exit areas with uh, with stone walls and some landscaping things like that. Tree the town was huge for the east side, so a lot of momentum building with those developments. We've done a recent video on the the core district area of a downtown being revitalized. The east side development at Campbell. 
uh, the brick road development at Spring Valley over closer to Central Expressway. So lots of stuff going on. But this has been an area that has sort of declined since the original Richardson Square Mall time, uh, has hung on with the Sears and looks like pretty quickly now is going to be revitalized with some very attractive restaurant and retail Neighbors are excited about it. Neighboring businesses are excited about it. And the city council has unanimously approved the proposal from the developer. So keep your eye on this. Keep your eye on our videos. We'll tell you more when we know more. But get out there and enjoy Richardson, Texas. If you're thinking about moving to the area, we're shooting videos almost every week about new exciting developments. If you're in the area, but maybe you're living in a neighboring city and thinking about a move to Richardson, Think seriously about that. It is a great time to be in or considering Richardson, Texas. I will talk to you on the next video. Take care.